So this question says a right circular cylinder has a height of six inches. Okay, so this is a plug in picture question, PIP, plug in picture. You use this strategy whenever you're reading something in the, in the question that describes something that you can draw, right? So there's no drawing here for us. There's no right circular cylinder for us. So I'm gonna draw it myself. So I'm gonna draw here and don't worry about your drawing being great. Like it really doesn't have to be great as long as you recognize it to be what's being described. So there's my right circular cylinder. It has a height of six inches. So I'm gonna just label that as six for the height, okay? Um, the radius of the base of the cylinder is five inches. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna label that. So the radius will be the center to the edge. So that is five. Um, what is the volume in cubic inches of the cylinder? So the volume of a right circular cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. Now I've memorized that, but you actually don't have to memorize it. So that information is found on the first page of the math section of the test. So really any formula, volume, area, there's some other, um, other interesting things there as well. Um, anytime you maybe not, you may not remember a formula, I'd always go back and check that first page of the math test to make sure that it's, you know, to make to see if it's there or not, um, instead of just guessing, for instance. So what do we know? We know everything we need to know. So we know that we're trying to find the volume. So V is equal to pi. Well, what's R? R, we were told is five. So I'm going to replace R with five, five squared. What's H? H is six. So I'm going to replace H with six. We're looking for cubic inches. Five and six are already in inches, so there's no need to you know, convert these numbers or convert these units into any other units. All I need to do now is the math. So I'm gonna start simplifying. So V equals pi. What is five squared? Five squared is 25. So this becomes 25 times six. 25 times six is 150. So V equals 150 pi. So we always put the, um, the number before the symbol pi, so is that a pi 150 is 150 pi. So that's our answer, and therefore choice D is the correct answer.